Degenerates, and welcome to another character analysis. This time we're going to be looking at Pit slash Dark Pit. Um, so, lucky for us, these VODs did not get nuked. So, the ones I'm talking about are the Edo versus Fallen VODs. So, that way, you're going to be able to take a very, very good in-depth look at Pit. And kind of see why this character is sort of just going under the radar. But it, it's one you should at least be aware of, I would say. Um, so, now, uh, Pit, definitely keeping his archetype as a very honest character... Uh, he doesn't really have any crazy cheese or anything like that. Um, but before we get into um, Ultimate Pit, uh, let's talk about Smash 4 Pit for a second. Um, so, Smash 4 Pit, as most of you guys know, uh, a pretty basic mid-tier... low. He was, he was basically a, a low mid-tier at this point. Like he, the, the biggest issue that Pit had was his neutral game wasn't bad, but he had no solid punishes or nothing extraordinary it's like one or two hits and he could basically never kill you um you know if he could edge guard you that'd be one thing but like more than half the cast could just recover for free so that always boded pretty badly for him and it wasn't too hard to edge guard him just because his upbeat was so susceptible to getting hit um although he did have multiple jumps to mix it up and then he had that side b that had armor as well but yeah just it was not hard to deal with this character at all uh, but the biggest difference here is like although functionally his moves are basically the same except uh, dash attack uh, He's just able to kill now which was something that he did not have like all of his moves now pack a really really good Satisfying punch to them and that really was all he needed like uh, I believe fair is something that comes out quicker too um, From what I remember from uh, the pushbot gaming and which that's pretty big uh, so not only that and then it's also a lot stronger because like in smash 4 you could link but like it 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 did nothing it's like oh it's damaged and that was really it nair is also really strong too like you're going to notice like it demolishes luma like look luma's gone after two nair so for like this matchup which was um i can't imagine was like that much fun to play as his pit uh back in smash 4 now it really doesn't look bad almost every single aerial that he does just decimates luma so it's like you have a good clean disjoint you can do a lot of damage to it and then it's just knocked back at zero too that's like either that's a luma nerf or it's just his moves got really buff which i'm pretty sure it's the latter um so yeah see look how quickly fair came out like before it I, it almost feels like that's like like 25 percent faster or something like that and that's that's pretty significant you know f smash still roughly the same got a lot of uh, range on it his jab i didn't i don't remember if there's that exact confirmation but his jab looks like it also has more reach as well um, but yeah, the, the main things I want you guys to take away is that his moves are just a lot stronger and they're able to link. Of course, this recovery is still going to be a little bit rough that you can just hit it away like that. So that's always something that you're going to have, but just look at the way that he's able to pressure. Like that short hop fair pressure is a lot scarier now. Still auto cancels off that, sh uh, short hop too. So you can do short hop fair fade back, uh, F tilt. So that way you can keep yourself pretty safe. Um, you're still going to have the electro sharp and upper arm dash that are going to have that super armor too. And they also kill, um, uh i know electric shark arm at least kills pretty early still not sure about upper arm dash but i wouldn't be surprised if that does too if they buffed it uh pits up air and dark pits their up air got a lot stronger um i don't know how often ido really uses it um but that's definitely so that's definitely a move that was killing like at 120 130 so you know before in smash 4 i think it wouldn't kill to like maybe 150 or something like that uh the other thing that got kill power too i believe is dash attack i believe dash attack now has a ko potential uh, I'm not sure exactly what percentage. Wouldn't be surprised if it's like 150 or something. But, you know, the fact that you can kill at decent percents with it is good. Because, um, like, you know, that way you have a quick way to just punish landings if you need to. See, like that. Just two nares. Luma's gone immediately. Tries to go for the edge guard, but, you know, I want a little bit low. So, that angle on that up air, not the best thing in the world. Um, but, yeah, God, just... Just, just kind of look at the way that he's able to frame trap. Uh, the other buff that Pit and Dark Pit got too is that now that uh, players cannot air dodge for free, they kind of have to avoid the arrow or just take the hit. And look at that. Almost killed Rosalina from across the stage. What, what percentage was she at? And she's a light character. Yeah, so uh, 128. Yeah, so that does uh, almost 20%. 20%-ish. Okay, good Nair. Um, but yeah, another thing too is you're, you're able, like, you know, you now have a long, consistent hitbox. You're able to fall down with a kill. It's kind of like Palutena's now where that would kill like at 120 off stage. So, so Pit's got kind of got something like that. Um, and oh yeah, then you can. I wonder if you can actually mix up um, what side you're on with that nair, so you can uh, mix up uh, what angle they're going to send to. They're going to be sent to the right or left. So that that'd be neat. But if if you could just uh, if it the knockbacks just determined by where you're facing, then 
that's fine too um the other thing i can't confirm is whether or not they i think from the push block gaming videos that they changed the back air uh hitbox so it doesn't have that weird janky one that just pops you straight up and does nothing because that one that hitbox was bad like you oh wait no it's still there good we just saw it <laughs> um it looks like at least now he has frame advantage over here because before it was like it, it was bad it was bad at low percents Okay, so you have the rapid jab. Another big buff is that you finally don't fall out of that now. So that way you at least have consistency there. Uh, just having consistency with all your multi-hits is also kind of a big deal for Pit. Because, like, although Nair was pretty consistent, like, forward air was... You could cut, you could pop out of that one. Uh, and then just rapid jab. It's like, you had to make sure you did gentlemen every single time. Otherwise, you would just get punished. And that that was never fun. Um... But yeah, I, I don't know if... I don't think... As far as I've seen or heard, I don't think Pitt has like a hoo-ha or anything like that. Um, but, you know, he just has a lot of good positioning and setups that he can get off of his aerials. So that's going to be... That's just kind of be the main thing you look at. You know, decent speed, um, good aerials, good edge guarding. Uh, he has a side view, which is extremely strong. So that's going to come in clutch in a lot of situations. So especially in a game that's going to be so, like, round-focused, too. Um... Like, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you see a lot of characters are going to be using, like, the dash attacks. And now that people are used to, like, their aerials being safe, that's something that, like, people could just... It's just something that people could just pull out against you um, if they catch you, like, just, you know, spamming, a, like, a way, one too many aerials at once. Um, so, yeah, no, that that's mostly going to be Pit in a nutshell. Um, I know the moves I didn't cover. Uh, I remember they gave up tilt different utility now. Like um, I think uh, up tilt now, it's I, I think a low percent of combos into itself, but you're able to at least combo that into aerials. I know that's one thing. Down tilt, I don't remember what utility that got exactly, um, but everything else at least basically functions as the same. It's just the moves themselves just got better. So yeah, if you were a pit main back in Smash Four, I this, I don't think this would be a bad character to pick up again. Uh, just to get used to the fundamentals of the game. And then if there's just characters that you find a lot more exciting that you want to try out, I would definitely go for them. But I think as a starting character, not a bad choice just to learn uh, the neutral and then, you know, just feel how solid that he is now. So, oh, wow, that down tilt actually pops you straight up. So you actually might be able to do down tilt up there. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's going to mostly do it for Pit. Uh, can't... Uh, yeah, no, I can't really think of anything else to say about it. But yeah, guys, so let me know in the comments if there's anything else that I missed with this character that you guys know. I um, always love to learn more, more things, hear your feedback. Um, tomorrow is going to be the Wolf and Isabel update videos because, you know, I, I did finally get to play them. We got a lot more information about them. Of course, nuked VODs, which means I will not be able to find a lot of clips. It sucks because there's a lot of really, really good clips that came out from Ryuga, but... Uh, from what I've noticed, they're all gone from his Twitter now, so I can't show off the really, really cool fishing pole stuff and, like, some of the things with Wolf. Um, but definitely, I do want to update my thoughts on them, especially Isabel, because Isabel, um, after seeing how people have been implementing Fishing Rod, has definitely changed my perception of her as a character. Um, and with that said, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.